welcome back to another episode of the Underground Podcast. Episode set? No, not seven. No, excuse me. Episode eight. All right, I've got it right. You know, the plant's still going strong. Um, I mean, I have watered it. Maybe probably like one. Oh fuck! Talking about nature, which we uh, just have done two days ago. I'm not sure how to say this. Uh, I was going to tweet about it, but it probably sounds weird. I fucking almost. I think I, I swallowed a butterfly. I, I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. I swallowed a whole butterfly, I believe. What was happening? I came home because I was out. Going f through my door, a butterfly decides to enter my hole, my pathway of my mouth and gullet. And I felt the back of my throat something. It was a but I saw the butterfly, and the butterfly saw me. I mean, this guy was looking at me. Not a guy, but this butterfly was looking at me, I'm sure. And as soon as I like, went like that, as if like I tried to like spit it out, I looked around and it was not there. So I'm convinced I somewhere along you know the, the fat in here, I have a butterfly living inside of me. The story goes on. Uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen to me now. Will I blossom? Will I, I? I'm not sure. I'm, am I basically a butterfly now? You know, is that um, have I had kids? I, I, I don't want to talk about it. You know, it, make, it actually makes me honestly feel sick. You know, but you know, welcome back. Interesting way to start the podcast. The number episodes. We're going to talk about a lot of things today, including the Love Island drama and heartbreak, um, the diss track that I made, uh, and Alex Mann. You know, my man, Alex Mann. Uh, first of all, just to talk about the Love Island situation. Who the fuck cares? I mean, I want to talk about it briefly. And when I say that, take it lightheartedly. Take it with a pinch of salt. I watch Love Island. I love the show. I watch it every year. And, you know, I'm caught on it. I'm hooked on it. But the whole thing with Amber and Michael splitting up is like, I don't understand that. And the Curtis Amy thing. Yes, yeah, you know, I don't know why. If you are that affected by something that's, first of all, on TV. I'm not saying it's not real because it is real, that show. It's not, it's not reality TV in that sense, even though they know there's cameras there. So that's debatable, but it's the fact that, you know, it's it's a show, it's not real love, really. They've been in a villa for, I don't know how much, four weeks. But, you know, there could be arguments that, you know, they spend tw like every hour under the sun with each other. But I, I think about this, if Michael has done nothing wrong, Curtis has done nothing wrong. And maybe they, the way they said stuff could have been better, but if you are linking a girl, yeah, if you like a girl, you talk to him, you get to know him, yeah? You don't go into the stage that quick of going yes i'm gonna marry you and have like 70 kids or not 70 kids probably like seven kids let's be honest um or none kids or just get married and stuff you don't have that conversation yet but you why would you put like not be open to the idea of pursuing something else with somebody else like if you get along with someone better it just makes logical sense like it's honestly not that deep i don't understand why everyone's having uh heartbreaks meltdowns of something that's not even their lives you know, it's going to be very interesting though, because I think, as we saw in the preview, Mora, and by the way, if you're not interested in Love Island, skip right now. Uh, actually, no, don't. Just do, watch for the watch type. <laughs> Please, uh, leave it on. But Mora and Curtis are hooking up. The fuck? Like, what? Like, but that's happening. Um, and a lot more drama. I'm not actually sure how long the show goes on for. Like, I watch it every year, but I never realise how much life it takes out of me. It takes up a lot of my life. Believe me. Um... But yeah, next thing I want to talk about is the diss track. Bodied by your boy and Zingy, official diss track, official music video. Um, I just want to know, like, let me know now in the comments. I mean, I know you obviously had your thoughts, well, debatable, on the, mu on the music video. It's on, I'm going to check now, actually. All right, okay, don't want to play that. 383 views, and it's been less than 24 hours. It's been about... 12 hours probably or more and it's on over and the light to dish right ratio oh you know if you haven't seen the music video by the way go ahead and watch it it's on my channel 29 likes versus 33 dislikes and i promise you it was not that even before it was a ton of dislikes and a load of likes but could i just say something before we move on to actually talking about the actual music i know there was a lot of controversy sparked in the comments and I, I had to just accept it, like, it's going to happen, no matter what I knew beforehand. Putting out this music video is going to trigger people, especially the kids. But you know what? But to all the haters out there, I have one and one final last message to you. And that is... Yeah, that's it. I, honestly, no, nothing. I've got nothing to say to you. Um, I'm very busy. I do want to take that, don't want to take that time or waste the time out of my day to speak upon them. Have a great life. 
and I will too. You know, that's all I've got to say. But obviously, about the music video, I hope you liked the little skit at the start because I wanted to make it more of a good production. The little, the whole idea, by the way, people's, I don't work at Tesco, just to make sure I'm a YouTuber slash rapper, debatable. Entertainer, you know, best in the platform. Number one, number, actually, number two podcast now because Logan's taken number one. Fuck. Subscribe, like the video. I never mentioned that actually. Subscribe, like the video, turn on post notifications. I'm desperate, alright? But yeah, as I was saying, I've been going on the, onto that tangent. The music video, well, I don't work at Tesco. I'll try and do a skit as if I work as a, not a typical 9 to 5 job because I don't agree with the educational systematic system. Yeah, factual facts. That society puts you in the bubble. Uh, that was me being going out there and then letting all my stress, all my anger upon, um, well, it wasn't even proper anger. I was doing it for fun. I wrote the, the people are saying I tried really hard. It wasn't really, if you think about it, I wrote the diss track because I was a bit pissed a bit pissed off that people come at me within one hour so people saying that this is a lot of comments I mean obviously the haters are just gonna say it's bad anyway like I actually think this if even if I hate someone I would at least admire something's good like in my opinion I always doubt myself but I do feel like this is a solid track to for me to write in one hour some people are saying this is amazing this is godly and the wordplay lyrics flow delivery everything yeah the uh, manipulation of words because I've studied music for the last two years I want to pursue it properly but then they this is games, this is literally playing games on the playground because I wrote this in one hour. Obviously the music video took me a while to actually get up because I had loads of problems with it, filming it and stuff, but other than that, it's just for fun. I'm an entertainer, that's what I do. If you don't like it, piss off. This is, my, this is another thing I want to say, just about people, I might want to call them haters, but I don't want to use that term, it's just weird. I want to say, if you do not like my vids or you think my vids are bad, they're shit, they're crap, whatever words you want to use, they're not a good enough standard Quite frankly, don't watch my videos. If you think they're good, go ahead and watch them. Leave a like, subscribe, all of that. Comment down below and feedback. But if you don't like my, if I watch somebody and I don't like them, I'm gonna click off and I'm never gonna watch them again. So kindly suck the fattest dick possible and get on with your life. <laughs> and moving on to that, um, you know, it's light-hearted banter, but you know, kind of true. Anyway. Um, yeah, the music video, when I actually talking about music as well, you know, I've, I've released a couple of tracks before. I'm working on an album, I'm on about serious songs now, not just playing around making music on a diss track. But I'm working on serious music album, expected to come out August. And I've done it August because it does seem too soon, but also it pushes me to actually get it done. Because I won't get it done otherwise. If I say end of, end of this year, which was originally, I'll be like, I, I would think about, I would have too much time on my hands, but it's summer. You know, the sun's out, of course, it's fucking summer, I don't know why I said that. You know, the plant's going well, but no, I'm in that mood where, I'm in my album mode right now. You know, J. Cole's project just come out with Dreamville, uh, what else happened? Um, oh, shit, of uh, Sire, no, no, not Sire, Iris came out by Jaden, which I want to say is fucking sick. Honestly, I want to say for the music heads out there, Sire, if you listen to Sire and you're a proper old hip-hop head, you probably won't like it, but I love the fact that he can do that. And not only still get praise for it, but he's expressing himself. I, I will respect anybody, no matter what music it is, if you're expressing yourself, and that's what Jaden does well. And he's good at writing. People don't understand that. The Calabas is Freestyle by Jaden Smith is fire. Ghost by Jaden Smith. He knows how to rap, but he also likes to make, you know, sing song music like everyone else. You know, you want to, like, people don't think, people think that if, people that don't do music think, if you do rap, you've got to do rap. But in reality, most of my songs, yeah, they are rap songs, but... There's sometimes one a vibe, I want to sing, you know, and or let your emotions out of different things. So I think it's absolutely amazing what Jaden's doing. With Iris, the songs on there, he released 17 music videos at once. Who the fuck does that? And I mean, I know that this weird, they're all like, they're not interchangeable in the sense that they just keep replaying, but that's his own unique thing. So I feel like Jaden is like influencing this new age of music, 100%. Um, I love the way, it's, it's about the feel of it at the end of the day, and he gave me that feel. And for those people that got me in album mode, so I've wrote, I've wrote so many songs, I just need to narrow it down to the songs that I actually want out, and I need to master and perfect them, hit in the booth with my guy Dennis, you know, probably not watching this now, but if you are, my guy Dennis. But yeah, like people that think, oh, because I'm, I'm just in my head, I'm not that typical YouTuber. Even though I'm a YouTuber that, that just wants, just wants, oh, I'll try music and see how it goes. Like, I've been into music since day. All I've grown up around is hip-hop, Wu-Tang, Nas, Eminem mainly. Like, these are the foundations of my childhood and I can't, and music is like, 
it's, th it's I've said it before, it's therapeutic to me. It's like my only outlet as well as obviously making videos for you people. So I'm gonna continue it. If you don't like it, click off. You know, right? if you do like it, show love for your boy. But yeah, hopefully I'm getting I'm what I've been told each song I'm doing from start to end is getting better and better. So it's always good, so I, I love going to the studio. Now, Alex Mann has recently been in the news for what exactly? Did he did he save a dog? You know, um, did he change people's lives? He was at Glastonbury, Glastonbury Festival, and Dave called him up on stage, just a fan, chatting out, yeah, I want to come on stage to rap part of your song. That's all he done. It wasn't like some talented rapper. And this is the epitome, the epitome of now, that, of just, just 2019. He has, I'm, I'm reading here that he has been signed. There's few people that are offering him record deals because of the Dave thing that happened in Glastonbury. I mean, people need to chill. People need to chill. You know, bite your tongue. Don't like be easy with the things you're saying. You're gonna give someone a record deal that doesn't do music that just went on stage, stage and just learnt the songs to your song. And there's people out there like me, not just me, but underground people that love this shit, like treat it like an art form, music, and work hard every day, and they don't get record deals. Personally, I don't fucking record deals. If I ever was given a record deal, I wouldn't take it. Uh, I've been offered like. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that, but it's, it's just the whole thing with like the KSI and Roundoff thing, the new age thing. I, I fuck with that message a lot because like the, the best way to do most things is do it yourself. If you're relying on people, they take a car. The same with most things, do it yourself. Like same with editing. Like I was I was needing an editor, but I feel like for now I'm good. I can edit my videos, and I don't want there to be any controversy, drama. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it myself, man. You know, but. The fact that someone gets a record deal and blows up for the smallest things nowadays, fly again, trying to attack me, doesn't want to smoke. Alright. Definitely killed it there, not really. Um, but the fact that you can blow up nowadays because of that, and there's like just, there's this un. It's not unwanted, it's wasted talent. There's so many people with talent that don't get recognised. And that's what I always do try to help people with talent. Like if I see talent, like there's this rapper uh, artist at the moment called Bayo. Bio, I hope I say his name right. Um, and I'm talking to him at the moment about doing collabs and stuff, but he, I see potential in him. And same as YouTubers like Tobio or Bean Kenny Pank. If I see, or like just so many YouTubers that are like small YouTubers, if I see potential in someone, I'll fuck with them and I'll help them in order to take the steps to grow either a brand, a business, a channel, uh, you know, social influencer. Although, you know, everyone knows I hate, fucking hate that word. All right. I need to stop blowing it around, but yeah, it's just like, that whole thing with the glass and brew thing with Alex Mann, you know what? Fair play to him. He's got the clout, so I mean, I can't really complain because I would have just done the same thing in the situation. He's on stage. He's been offered all these things, left, right, and centre. He's been on Good Morning Britain. He's not just going to sit there huddled up in the corner, with it, twiddling his thumbs. He's going to go out there and do that and respect you, know. But it's just, it's just the way people are. Like, how are you going to give a record? Oh, it's, it's beyond me. It's beyond me. I don't want to talk about it. All right. But I think that's that's been all the topics for today. Uh, we're going to have more episodes, obviously, every single Sunday. We're consistent this time, and I can't believe it. Like, like the, the plant's growing, the channel's growing, everything's going well so far. We're having fun. I'm trying to get more higher quality content, uh, longer form content on the channel. As I said, if any one of you want to join me, sit on this desk here, not desk, this table here on the podcast, talk about stuff. I'm, I'm going to need to get mics soon and a better camera. So I need to get some microphones. We can talk about your journey on YouTube. Or we can talk about, you know, topics that happen in the news, whether it be global warming, global warming, climate change, music, YouTube. Like, it can literally be anything. Or if you want to be my co-host, because I do need to co-host, whoever you are, small YouTuber or non-YouTuber, DM me. At Nzingi, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Your boy signing out. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe down below. If you are new to the channel and if you are subscribed but you haven't hit the bell, just rewind a minute, con consider what you're doing, and go back and hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. Mm -hmm.